Hi, this is Brenda, and this is lesson two helps for your trumpet. In lesson one, we talked about buzzing your lips so that you can learn how to push with your stomach, make the right position of your mouth, and breathe to make the noise into the trumpet. <coughs> and then eventually in the trumpet. And you learned how to make the t, t sound while you breathe to make a sharp tone. Today, we're going to talk about the fact that you don't really need to buzz hard to make your sound. The, make, the way you make a high or low sound is how tight your, the corners of your lips are. Really tight means high. Looser and more relaxed is your lower note. So, some of you, if you're trying to make these sounds in the trumpet, you're having a hard time with the lower notes because you think that you have to push really hard and then all you're getting are high notes and sometimes you're getting even higher than a C. You're pushing hard and you're making these high sounds and I know you're not going to make, I, I, I made an example of not staying on the same pitch because you eventually need to learn how to sustain your tummy, your breathing, your support, your lips so that you can play any note and hold it tight and then your muscle memory gets used to what it feels like here, what it feels like here, what it feels like everywhere to make each pitch. I know what it feels like to make a G. I know what it feels like to make it tighter here and a little bit more push to make a C. And even harder and tighter to make a high E and as loose as you can be, really loose and not as much push here to make a low C. So eventually your muscle memory gets used to those things. But for now, today what I want to talk to you about is to make the G, if you've been practicing with tightening and buzzing, the make the G, the concept of knowing that you really don't have to buzz when you put your lips on the mouthpiece. You don't have to go you're really only going, you're blowing through the same feeling, the same shape of your lips when you buzz, but you're just blowing. So if you just continue to make a buzz in that mouthpiece, eventually not making the buzz, but making a breathing sound, blowing through the same shape of your lips, eventually the sound will come out. And then when you put the mouthpiece on the trumpet, you do the exact same thing. Make the shape of your lips like the buzzes, but don't buzz. Just breathe. Push from here so you've got that intense blow, just like you're blowing up a balloon. And if you do that with not tightening this, you'll get your G. This is the G. And then when you do the tongue, t -t, you'll get a sharper beginning tone. So that's what we're going at. And, and our goal is, is the G, the nice strong G. It's harder to make until you learn how to relax, but still keep the same intensity with your breathing and only blow. You also only blow, but your intensity is harder and your, the corners of your lips are tighter to make the C. There's the G, looser here. There's the C, tighter here. You're just blowing through the mouthpiece. So we're going to play back and forth G's, then C's. Whole notes are circles and I'm gonna paste up the pictures of the notes so that you can start to get used to them and then I'll play it with you. We're gonna do four counts of G's, then a rest, which is a little bar, four counts of rest, to start thinking about the high C. Tighten your lips and play the high C. That's the higher note. We're gonna go back and forth. Four counts, rest four counts. Four counts of C, rest four counts. Four counts of G, which is relaxed, then rest four counts. 
then four counts of C, then rest. Here we go. Rest, two, three, four, C. Rest, two, three, G. Go. Rest, two, three, four, high C. Sorry, I was still talking while I was starting that C. All right, so there's your four notes. Now, just to get a cool thing started, to learn how to make different notes besides just open strings, in your second lesson, you don't wanna just keep, not strings, sorry, I was thinking cello. Open valves. <laughs> okay, get the right instrument here, Brenda. All right, trumpet. Instead of just open valves all the time, we're going to play first finger. So you want to make sure you have your finger down before you start the sound so it doesn't have this weird sound that kind of mushes before you're, you get the good tone. You always want to think of starting a tone and holding it, keeping it, and keeping it steady. All right, so from the high C, which for some of you is easier to play because you're still pushing too hard, you're trying too hard, and you haven't relaxed yet because you're not a not sure that you can still maintain your lip position, your stomach position, and then relax your lips. So we're gonna start with the high C. Some of you can't do the high C's yet, your lower notes are easier, but that's okay. You can still make a tone and hold it. And you can still make a changed note with your first vowel, even if it's not the high one. You can do a lower one. So we're gonna do C, and I'll post this next to me when we start, but we're gonna do a C, which is open, and then you're gonna push your first finger down and play the same pitch, kind of, and it's gonna come down a little, it's gonna be a B flat. There you go, now you've used your first finger. So open, first finger. C, B flat. Now, if you're trying to match these pitches on a piano, it's not C and B flat, it's B flat and A flat. Remember that a trumpet is one step off of the normal pitch, of the concert pitch. So, there you go. We're going to play half notes now, two count notes. C, two, then rest, two then B flat, two counts, then rest, two, and do that four times total. C, B flat, C, B flat. Two counts each. I'll post it so you can follow along with the notes so you get used to what those notes look like. Here's the C, ready, and. Rest, two. Rest, two. Rest, two. Rest, two. Good. There you go. Thank you. We'll see you next time.